Hi guys, Mario vs Peach here, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. In the last episode, we did some shine sprites in Bianco Hills. This episode, we're going back there to tackle the next episode, also known as Episode 3. <laughs> episode 3, The Hillside Cave Secret. Oh, this one will cause you trouble if you haven't played the game before. Surprise, it's funny, this game has been out for so long, yet people still haven't played it. Well, then again, it's like the original Super Mario Brothers. Unless you've got it on the Virtual Console, you haven't really played it. It's been out for 25 years. 25! Oh, this guy. Yes. This guy can give you a blue coin, although he doesn't do it all the time. You just keep saving him in every episode and he'll... Oh, wait, 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 wait. He's part of the episode, so... If you talk to this guy, if you don't know where you're going, you just be like, he says, Say, do you know about anything about the hillside cave? You can see it from the path that leads to the big windmill. As you go up the hill, look right before you reach the bridge. Anyway, I was hanging out near the entrance the other day. Suddenly, this weird looking guy ran after me. I took off quick. I saw him bust the cave gate open and vanish inside. Yikes. Yes, that is a mystery. Did this weird guy happen to look like Mario? Because if you say so, then that means you're calling Mario weird. You bloody PA, do you? Excuse the language. Now, normally you go up by the tightrope. Oh no. Well, you go up a different way, but I just tend to go like this. Wall jump. One, two. Now, this course has something interesting in it. Oh, oh no! Yes, this introduces the first stage, which has no flood. These levels are a part of every level. Every world has one of these, and even, no, none of the Delfino Plaza places do. This is pretty simple, as you can hear in the background, a acapella version of the Mario Brothers theme is playing. Sorry, should I say Super Mario Brothers theme? Now... If you don't know what you're doing, you can use a lot, lose a lot of lives. Just as long as you... If you want to go quick, just remember to stop. Alright. And let's go. Well, I'm, I'm risking it getting this life, but... No, I'm not getting it. And... There's our fifth shine sprite already. Bang. Okay, heading back to Bianca Hills, episode 4, Red Coins of Windmill Village. Yes, I decided to cut it out, because you don't need to see me going back and forth, back and forth from every single time from Delfina Plaza. So, it's better if I just cut that out. Whee. Yes, there are also Red Coin missions, a la Super Mario 64. I seem to be mentioning that game a lot in this. Then again, it did, it was... A very good game. Defied the whole 3D perspective. Not as much as Ocarina of Time, though. Ugh. I have to go to Avcon. Well, probably by the time this episode gets up, I'm there. I'm not there, but going to be re getting ready to go. Well, probably be uploaded a few days before. But anyways, the point is, is I'm going there big anime convention, video game convention, hoping to uh, enter some tournaments. I entered a tournament a while back for New Super Mario Brothers Wii, a coin challenge. And I won the first place for that and went to Sydney. First prize would have been to go to New York to the Nintendo World, but there were better people than me there. Oh well, mistake here. Dude. I should be talking about this game. Jeez, I've flown past the red coins. That's because I know what I'm doing. Now, in here, in this pillar there, there's a blue coin, but... And as you can see, there are Mario symbols everywhere. They'll, whenever you farm one, they'll give you a blue coin. Excuse me if you had any background noise. It's just my controller. Why is that still like that? Oh, no point in complaining. Oh, yes, the holographic boxes. We'll get into those later. Whoa. Yeah, so straightforward. 
Red coin missions are a lot easier in this one. They're more. Um, it depends. Some levels they're a bit harder, but in, actually, in some levels they are very difficult, especially in the last level. Oh, I'm not looking for the blue coins in the very last level. Oh well. Whoa. And already, Shine Sprite number six. Waha indeed. Now I'm not going to cut it off here because I'm going to go and do one of the Delfino Plaza Shine Sprites. Yes, yes. Yeah, they'll constantly keep playing the same thing over and over and over until you decide. Until you get there or do a different play place. Excuse me, I just have to yawn. I'm very tired. I'm recording this at 12 in the morning. Now, if you, oh, did you see it? If you spray the ground here, this is one of the first chance sprites you can get. You can actually get the 100 coin chance sprite as well. But, pretty simple. Just spray the ground near the sand, and voila, you get a shine sprite. Now, just gotta watch out here. How's that already down? Oh, that's right, that goes down automatically. Oh well. That level can. Oh! No! Oh, we'll refill our water. Yes, make sure you always refill your water whenever you get the chance. Yes, because there are levels that you have to traverse in this place. And like I said in Super Mario World, it's always better to be prepared. If I haven't said that yet, you never know when I will. Oh, chance right number seven. We are going good. I think we can get one or two more and then we'll call it a wrap for that. Sounds like a jolly old plan. I'm going to go over here again. No, I'm not going to go get the same shine sprite. It's okay. Whoa. As you can see, now that I'm getting more, the place is getting a bit more. Whoa. Whoa. Look at him. Look at his gunk field face. Stage is a... Uh, yeah, this level is a stage in Brawl. Actually thinking of doing that game from a Let's Play. Do the Subspace Cemetery. Anyways. Into this warp pipe and you're treated to a little slide. Sort of like the old you know what games from the N64 day. Oh, he just has a twig. Oh, whoa. Just be ready with the hover. Oh, no, you can't use. Oh, thought I was. Uh oh. Oh, it's all good. Yep. Just grab it, Mario. Shine! Hmm. <laughs> I am loving the progress. Eight already. If this was Super Mario World, I would not be doing well. Then again, I have a controller for this, so... It's all easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Oh, move out the way, Peach. Oops, sorry, Toad. Oh, oh, that jetpack guy. You'll be seeing a lot of him in the other levels. Oh, what's that guy running away around for? Now, if you go in here, there's a little box breaking mini game. Break all of the crates within 30 seconds to win a prize. You want to try? Yes, we do. Now, there's something you'll find interesting in this game. The place is under a threat. The place is in this turmoil because they can't get the sun back. But look at what the painters hold. They hold the key to getting their place back, and a lot of painters hold them. And why this guy just makes you play a game to get it, I'll never understand. Oh well, I guess that's Nintendo logic for you. As a certain someone would mention during his LPs. Oh, I reckon we can round it off to 10 before the end of this video. Just gotta think of- oh, I can show you a real easy one. A really, really, really easy one. Alright, what you want is a coin. You go here. Well, I'm just going here because I like to traverse the through the rooftops. It's easy. A mess of pineapple in there. Yes, there are different coloured birds as well you have to watch out for. Now, if you keep going, as you can see there's a shine sprite in here. Now you can't enter it by doing anything else. No. What you need to do you need to go to this guy. Now these guys are known as Chucksters. 
they're mad for what Mario's done, so when they see him, they will automatically get angry and want to throw him. But they help him, so it's alright. Howdy, throw me a coin and I'll throw you for a loop. Yes. Yeah, and away you go. And he helped us into a shine sprite. That's shine sprite number 10. And I'm Mario vs. Peach. And I'll see you next time on Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine.